Hey everybody, I, oh, there we go, okay, I think my headset's starting to go, oh no. <laughs> hey everybody, it is Kit, um, uh, happy hump day, and welcome back to the Sims 4 Brooks Legacy story. We're here with our boy Blaze for the first time, um, and I just want to say, uh, sorry for not having a video out yesterday, I think I, I mentioned briefly a little bit um you know i was at the list last month i've just been tr just trying to play the catch-up game and work's been super hectic it's like up you know low 90s with 60 percent humidity here in tennessee and um that's been kicking my butt and then i've been studying for the adjuster course and <laughs> My apartment is a mess. And then I gotta go home. I'm still tired from that. And the time zone is killer. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just, I'm trying to play a catch-up game. And I just did not have the time to quite get this video up for yesterday. And then I was gonna have two videos up for today. But that just didn't work. So I'm trying to give myself some grace, but also trying to get into the swing of things again. Uh, so there may be a few videos this weekend just to, again, catch up game. Um, and then the other thing is my mom accidentally got uh, bit by Flash. He didn't mean to bite her. He and Watson were having a tizzy, and she put her hand around his neck to, like, grab him, uh, to grab Flash. And uh, apparently he decided to lunge for Watson at that point, and her hand was just right there. And then that was Sunday, uh, last, not this past Sunday, the Sunday before the, uh, before this one. And, um... The next day, my grandmother went into the hospital, and she is still there. She had multiple TAs and a stroke, and, like, her chances of having another stroke are 83%. And my mom is having to deal with all of this on her own, and I'm struggling with feelings. So, again, I... I'm just trying to explain for anyone who may be wondering and or wants to listen. Um, yeah, it's a lot. This is not the summer that I wanted a lot of things to happen, but that's just, that's where we're at. So I'm trying to claw back and get back into making videos and playing games and relaxing and having a good sleep schedule and writing that, that would be nice. Hopefully, in the next week or two, I can get there. But in the meantime, it, 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 this has been a long explanation. I'm sorry. Uh, let us jump in to our boy, Blaze. Now, here's our third child of Generation 3, and Hope's bouncing baby boy, all grown up, uh, squinting and cosplaying as a sleepy panda, much like his hat. Blaze Brooks and all of his adorablest, adorablest, yes, I just made that a word, glory, and minus his signature panda hat. Isn't he a cutie? I think that he has a mini hope face. Kind of kind of gives me the vibes when she was a child. I could do a side-by-side -side comparison. Probably should have. i tired and lazy. <laughs> Hiya, everyone. Blaze Brooks reporting live to you from his brand new kitchen in his brand new house. That isn't finished quite yet. Eating a brand new hamburger cake his mama made for him for his brand new birthday. It's a lot of brand news. He knows. He also has an older sister who isn't so brand new, but makes him laugh with new made up funnies right from the get go. And two very sleepy, very stressed out parents but he doesn't quite get the stressed out thing just yet 
Now there is one very important thing he must share with y'all. Even though his name is Blaze, said like B-L-A-Z-E, but spelled like B-L-A-Z. He goes by Panda. He doesn't really get why his mom wants him to go by Blaze for school purposes, but he's a little people pleaser and just nods nicely. Also, he likes pandas more than fires. And another super awesome, super special thing he wants to share, he and his big sister Marin are going on a camping trip. When, you ask? Now, boom, back to the present, fun stuff ahead. Panda-themed swim shorts, cool shades, a watermelon umbrella, a bunch of rain and mud puddles, and sugar and llama shirts. Woohoo! He's here with his aunt, uncle, and cousins, but it's only day one, and Uncle Andy seems sad and homesick. Maybe a panda hug will cheer him up. This is also Panda's way of playing in the rain and keeping the wet from tickling his ears. Don't tell anyone, but he's super ticklish behind his ears. Like, really, really bad ticklish. But eventually, Kaysen and Marin convinced him getting a bit wet wasn't a bad thing, and they all played water balloons. But in retrospect, maybe playing girls versus boys wasn't such a good idea with only three people, leaving Marin the odd woman out. He didn't think that far ahead. He's only been a kid for, like, a whole day. But, oh man, the stars here in Granite Falls. They look so big and cool. He hasn't looked at them in Del Sol yet, but these ones are his favorites. Also, I don't actually remember if it was the stars or the clouds, so you know what? Granite Falls has both. And this trip just keeps getting better. It's Osser's... Osser's... Osser's? <laughs> it's Oscar's birthday, which means another cousin to play with, and explore, and adventure with, and more cake. Don't worry, he patched things up with Marmar. She can't stay mad at his panda antics for long. Then he spent some time doing arts and crafts. It didn't take him long to find the glitter, of course. He wanted to make it super duper detailed for his mom and dad, but there was also something else bothering him, just an itty bitty bit. His Uncle Andy. And who better to ask than Kaysen, his oldest cousin. Hey Kaysen, is your dad doing okay? Panda had seen him around the kitchen and just, you know, around in general. And he seemed sad and also was like looking and poking at his stomach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he seems fine. Why? Panda just shrugged. He just seems off. Like he's sick or something. A stomach bug maybe? He keeps rubbing it. But Kaysen said he was fine. So he must be right. Right? It could just be from eating lots of cake, maybe. And of course, where there is glitter, there is paint. Shh. If anyone asks, tell them Mary did it. <laughs> Panda can run fast from the crime scene. Wee. Making a mess one minute, then helping clean up the next. That's a panda nundrum for you. I am way too proud of myself on that one. Panda nundrum. Conundrum. <laughs> and now, this little panda is a googly monkey and has lost all sense of common and whimsy. He's just a young boy in a big, magical forest, climbing bars and swinging in the rain. Perhaps next time we see Panda here, he will be on less of a sugar high, and I will have more hours of sleep and less iced coffee. Uh, but until then, bye! <laughs> and that is our half.
happy-go-lucky kiddo. I really, dang, dang it, dang it. I should have put happy-go-lucky instead of the, uh, <laughs> a smile a day keeps the sadness away. I should have put happy-go-lucky because that honestly is our panda boy. And my headset died. Love that. And when I say died, I mean turned off. Anyways, um, yeah, that, that, that would have been a better choice. It's fine. Honestly, the kid's having the time of his life. And he's adorable. I, I love him. I love him a lot. It, it was, it, I just remember it being very hard to, like, find panda themed things uh but i was thrilled when we got the hats and i don't even remember i think they were like a free thing right or was it a base game it might have been a base game thing with those animal hats i don't remember i just know i've never used them before and i haven't used them since and i really wanted to like challenge myself and i was like pandas why not those are adorable and it's just kind of become part of his personality. Not his entire personality. Um, but, you know, part of his personality. And I think it is adorable quirk. An adorable quirk. I am not saying my words very well. and forgetting my articles. I'm going to go to sleep now. <laughs> Good morning to everybody else. Good night for me. <laughs> Can you tell it has been a very long month and it does not look like it's going to be stopping. <laughs> We're only a month and a half, actually. I cannot believe it's July 16th. Where the hell did the time go? Can anyone else believe that it's July? I feel like it's barely March or April. 2024. Just the 2020s. Hello. Stop. Pump the brakes, buddy. Anybody else feeling this way? I'm feeling this way. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. I'm feeling that way. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, tomorrow, at the very least, I'm going to have an Oscar video. I'm hoping I'll have an Oscar in a Stardew Valley. I have no idea at this point. But hey, y'all might get some extra videos this weekend if I don't get my crap together. <sighs> um, so, yeah. And I will see whoever I see then. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this. And don't forget, where the waters flow, legacies grow. Bye!